Uh, in other news, though, got followed home by an undercover cop last night and questioned at my driveway. Cool. Let's talk about it. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all. One of those dark, dreary, loomy, gloomy September fall torrential rain pour kind of days. It has lightened up right now, but sometimes that reminds you of a video you did back in the day where you sat in a different car with a different camera and you made a video in the rain eating burger king whoppers and it was very asmr so we're gonna do it again today okay what can i say two whoppers a day keeps the doctors at bay okay <laughs> let's get you down for the real thing cam all right it's the standard order two whoppers heavy all with a side of small onion rings to stack on top and we got the zesty picante sauce today now you always got an eeny meeny miny mo in your head for which one is the best one for the first one they're both heavy alls but this one is looking heftier than the other ones so we're going to open this up put a little surgery on it these little golden ringies and uh see how they stacked it up today first things first my crave my whopper crave right now is like a 10 out of 10 so these are just smelling unbelievable right now and looking just the same they lettuced the shit out of it perfectly i love when they lay that lettuce nice but here's the real situation we just gotta relay a couple pickles right oh they really pickled this but it's fine we just kind of lay and display and center a few things and then we do this we've been here many times before together but to be honest with you for me it never gets old i love doing it <laughs> all right let's close this thing out we have a new clothes cam. Is that what we're doing here? Clothes cam now? There she is in all her real glory. That looks like the shot we're going to have to get for the uh, thumbnail once we baby bonnet this. Okay, you guys. Baby bonnet. Perfect whopper time. Uh, this feels like a throwback video. Like I said, this reminds me of one I did. Might have been all oh, maybe two years ago now. I think so, yeah. Because I was driving. Uh, my dad let me use his old ass Volvo vehicle for a couple weeks before i got my truck and uh i filmed it in that and it was very asmr like today if you take a moment to listen we have the rain and a beautiful burgie two beautiful burgies in that video i had poutine which was more fitting for the weather but i needed these today okay Honestly, Bob, absolutely perfect. Whoever made these, salute. The bun is super fresh today. Look at that. Perfect interior. I get uh, a lot of comments saying that Canadian fast food seems to be much better made or more quality made than uh than in america and i don't know how true that is but i will say a lot of my locations Pizza Hut, BK, by McDonald's. They stay on their high level of terror bullshit like they really do, it seems.
You get what you pay for, definitely. With this deal, two for nine, just the best. Mm. They're so good today. So I just took my mom grocery shopping in this weather because she has a uh, a scratched eye and couldn't drive. Look at these. These are the sauce. Like, oh my god. So I just ripped over to Walmart and the bank and shit, but it's so crazy that society is completely going towards like these self checkouts because they're just the elderly man, like. And people who didn't grow up on technology, AKA my parents or my mom. My dad has always kept up with that shit, but like she kind of like she knows what she's doing but I'm such a masterful whiz but it's because I grew up in a time where Things were digital and computerized and shit. I just see her and like even older folks just struggling. And then they also have to they also have to lift out, scan, and bag all their own groceries. It's like we need still people on till and like baggers. Like until really old people or the previous generation is dead and like our generation is up next i feel like they're gonna be screwed with getting their own groceries and stuff and i know there's like delivery services and stuff like that for now but some people still don't have the money to pay the extra to get a service to do it for them and also when the service is shopping for you you can't get like they don't always get shit right, exactly what you want, things like that. Like, it's just not as a tailored experience. Uh, in other news, though, got followed home by an undercover cop last night and questioned at my driveway. Cool. Let's talk about it. All right, second one. I was right with the first one. It was, like, the heftier loaded one. This is the lesser loaded, but still all good. But, yeah, I went out for some late-night snacks last night for a quick bag of chips and a little cheeky chocolate bar. At, I don't know, midnight... Earlier in the night, earlier in the night, I had found a random band with this really good song. So, as the night owl, music loving weirdo I am, with a snack on the mind, sometimes I like to take a drive, jam out a tune, grab said snack, jam out a tune, head home because I want to hear it in my vehicle, right? I like to hear a real good song in the vehicle. Pretty common thing. Being that my uh, local snack store is not that far from my house, when I got back into my vehicle, the song is longer than the drive home. Right? But I wanted the experience of the full song. So, I'm pretty close to home and I'm going across 
kind of a major street back into the residential areas but i'm at a stop sign and i see like a car heading my way from over there and i just uh, decide like oh i need to make the draw drive a little longer so i'm gonna hang a left and then dip down another street and then kind of cut across dip down another street kind of cut back to go home and i didn't know it yet but that vehicle that was across from me was an undercover suv cruiser so i guess he thought me going left and going right and then going back the way was like suspicious so he whipped around And it was a few blocks back behind me, but I saw him coming. And in my head, I was like, oh, that's definitely the same vehicle. And I'm pretty sure I could kind of tell the lights and stuff are super low profile now, but I could kind of tell, I was like, that's probably a, a cop, like an undercover cop SUV. So I'm like three blocks from my house, right? I'm like, am I going to get pulled over three blocks from my house? And like, like nothing would be wrong. I just have to explain, like, I'm literally getting snacks and listening to music. And then now I'm headed home. But so I hang like a right and a left. It's a block, a block, and then a left of a, and then a left back for, cause my, my driveway where I park is halfway between two residential streets. So it's like, no matter which way I go, I still have to double back sort of to get to my driveway. Cause I'm like in the center of this block on like the, on like a corner lot side. So anyway, so I do, 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 and then I do my half back and zip into my driveway. Pull my driveway. As soon as I pull my driveway, I see him at the other side of where I would normally have to go that way too, regardless to get to my house. At that stop sign, he pulls right up behind my vehicle door or window open. I get out of the vehicle, close the door, and he's like, hey, uh, city police, uh, can I talk to you for a sec? All right, sure. I'm in, I'm in shorts, this jacket, shirt, hat, flip-flops. You know what I mean? With a sack of chips and a chocolate bar and then roll up and he's just like, uh, doing some pretty, uh, sporadic moves back there. Uh, everything all right? You know, what's going on? Not at all, I'm like, went to go get these snacks was playing a song that i really like or just found wanted to play the entirety of the song before i go home and uh without even hesitation i just because i felt like he was going to be like is this guy pulling the old just drive into a driveway and park and pretend I live here trick or some shit to, to try to evade? So without question, I just whipped out my license and like ha went to hand it to him. Mind you, this guy's like my age too. He's like young. Definitely early 30s kind of thing. Um, I go to hand him my license and he like declines to take it. He's like, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't need that. All, all good. I was like, yeah, man, I just, uh, that's where I, li I live right here. It's my house. And he's just like, he's like, all right, but like, are you sure? All good. Otherwise everything's fine. Like no issues. And I was like, no, I'm good, man. The only issue I have right now is you just followed me home and are now questioning me for being out for a a late night jaunt like 
And not even that late. Like, I guess midnight is kind of, but... You know? The only other problem I have here is you kind of harassing me, to be honest. But I didn't say it, but... So... He was like, all right, yeah, cool. All good. Stay safe or whatever. I was like, yeah, you you too, man. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's just a weird little event, but. I know he's just probably trying to keep the neighborhood safe, I guess. And maybe, like, thought I was casing houses or trying to pick up or drop off drugs or something to that degree right to that effect so i understand like his little concern but at the same time leave me alone bud let me listen to my music and Take a route that gets me an extra 45 seconds on my drive. It is full on steamy sex scene in here right now. Very much Rose and Jack handprint on the window. of a I don't even know what year but you know 1920s Henry Ford vehicle let's call it I may be way off with that a Titanic pre-1900 pre perhaps anyways double delicious double the fun I'm realizing that as I'm living here and getting older, I'm probably going to be like a caretaker for my parents at some point. It just feels like that's inevitable. And I think I have to come to terms with that pretty soon because, you know, they do get old and then all of a sudden you got to change the diapers now, right? Like you got to fucking pick up the slack, right? I guess that's the circle of life. I'm really learning it. We're really getting there. So anyway, so the next one, uh, I guess help your parents if you can, where you can. Um, but not if they were like terrible and shitty too. And then maybe not. Uh, I don't know your certain circumstance. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe I guess don't drive a little further to finish the song. Because you might get pulled over by an undercover cop at your driveway at your house. So anyways, till the next one. Look at you got a little uh, you know what I mean. Stay drooped.